Hey there, I'm going to explain you how you can create forms with the help of Gravity Forms plugin for WordPress. So this is a plugin that will help you build some of the powerful forms that you can use for opt-in or for your shopping related uh, website and any other use that you can have with the website a lot of powerful features are given with the help of this plugin and you, you can design pretty much a lot of form related stuff and for that let's talk about how it works so We'll log into the dashboard and we will see the tab here forms we can see existing forms from the forms link after that if you want to create new form we will have to click here and after that there are entries which we can check for each form after that there are settings what do you want to do with the form how do you want to um, and modify some other things also you have import export for exporting and importing content of your form to another plugin or when you want to move your content from one word of wordpress site using this plugin to another using the same plugin and help file so first start with the forms link as you can see this page has all the previously created forms now if you want to create new you have to click here add new or you can click on this link new form we will click on this button this will open a new title form let's type something like guest book after that click on create form your form would be created but this function is disabled in the demo okay so this is the demo I'm running right now okay let's close it after that you can find that this demo doesn't allow me to create so we will like open the existing one let's open this one now let's see existing forms can be edited and saved however I am running gravity forms demo so that's why I may not be able to save these forms so only using them is one option ok so let's check this page let's check the add-ons what we can use it for okay so there is a Weber Adam MailChimp campaign monitor also for payment processing like authorize.net PayPal standard payment pro PayPal flow pro and some other like Twilio Sapier etc so let's go back to our dashboard as you can see we have a new UI here for forms these are the standard fields here single line text you can just drag and drop here okay so also drop down you can just click on it and it should create at the bottom okay so you have it here right so you can edit it by clicking here so there is clone and when you click here it will show you the options for modifying it let's just delete it and see it works deleting field is disabled in ok so that's the limitation that you won't find in your purchase version click on preview see how it works 
okay so this is how it works simple contact form name email and rest of the fields okay so it's a very powerful form software it has advanced fields too like name date time website email capture post fields okay so these are more for WordPress related data that you can store in database then pricing fields product quality option shipping total so if you want to design a new forum you just have to click on these particular buttons and the specific option will drop down here just like this okay then you can go on click on this arrow and modify the properties something like this on top down so yeah you can see it change first choice second choice will be edited first choice you can third you can add even one more okay so after that we'll take a look at entries yes I want to move to another page okay so these are the number of entries that we can see on our form okay we entered what sort of data email their name first last entry date that data is collected here after that check the settings tab okay you have your license key you purchase it it will be shown here if you don't purchase it it will go in demo mode when you have license key it will automatically upgrade and give you access to everything output CSS if you are modifying your form then you have to enable disable this there is also HTML5 support no config mode so to avoid it from overridden by any other plugin and theme that offer similar features can do also currency setting so that is very handy then recapture so most of the time we get hit by bots or a lot of spam out there so we can use recapture public and private keys here and save settings if we do that we basically prevent from mass spamming on our forms this is the API panel. Here you have settings for enable. Here your public and private key, which you should get it from Gravity Forms official website. And imposit account is admin, should be kept default. To that, this is uninstall. You should not click on this because that will make go things in demo and will be removed all of the data will be removed from wordpress to that there is import and export okay, so we can export the entries into inline html format or any such um, also these are the options for selecting form and exporting it so let's check it advanced contact form you can select all and you will see in which format you want it we can set the date and then download the export file likewise we can also export entire form so next time if you want to start from scratch you just import the form and use it instead okay so this is the feature here the XML file that we get in downloading from these two options can be imported here and then we will see the forms populated on forms page like this okay so that is pretty much the walkthrough there is also a help file that I forgot to mention this is the documentation page so it will take you to the specific document from Gravity Forms website. Okay, so 
that's my short tutorial on gravity forms uh, if you purchase this plugin and use it then you won't have much restrictions you'll be able to do a lot of important tasks that you want to accomplish with the help of forms and using gravity forms is much cheaper options compared to using something like survey monkey woofer form or let's say jot form because here the data is stored on your server and there is no limitation on amount of data you can collect you can collect unlimited data and only restriction will be the bandwidth that is restricted by your hosting service okay so coming on to the next part uh, gravity forms has price yes so what's the price okay, personal license $39 developer $199 business $99 if you are collecting a lot of data for surveys for anything like opt-in and you want to collect a lot of emails then you should consider buying the specific license that you need if you are just using it for one site or two three sites to just use business or person license if you're a developer want to use it on limited sites just have it okay so that's pretty much the demo here I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video bye